Hello, YouTuber Wilbers. It's a Thursday. So, uh, these are called bio bricks. They're made in Connecticut, and they're basically compressed sawdust with no glue or anything. They just press them under pressure. Uh, they probably heat them up, take out the voice, the moisture, and then. Package them up. You got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So 20 blocks for about seven dollars. Weighs about 40 pounds, which is just about what I can do. But uh, it's a lot easier to bring in the house than uh, than logs. The whole thing burns down to hardly anything. I mean, this pail here is uh, three quarters full. And I've been burning the stove since October, um, probably more so in November. Uh, heating system still out, so this is my sole survivor for heat. Right now it's 12 degrees out. Um, but with a fan, as I have a little fan here running, that blows the air towards the kitchen, and then I have fans. In other places to kind of move it around from the ceiling. Um, this is basically how I pack it. I mean it's the opposite of thinking when you're doing logs. Uh, I just do it like Legos and then I throw it in. It can be a whole package but it's more like a half a package so put too much in it it ends up being uh, overrun so I do these two rows here and then I just toss it into the backpack. Um, the uh, I was using alcohol for a while to light it but it's it's actually easier to just use um, you know lighter fluid. Um, it kind of lingers around a little more and it soaks in you just have to get it hot enough so that it starts creating a draft. If you catch it at the right time, you could just throw in um, some blocks on it. But uh, sometimes I'll put cardboard on there. I'm going to low on my cardboard just to help give it something to burn. I could probably scrounge some up. Not so easily that it'll be time to get it onto the camera, so just have to take my word for it. So I use these long matches. I like it better than using those propane uh, lighter things. And uh, you know, it lights up pretty good and it starts to burn. Once you get the draft going, you can close up this thing, the damper. Um, but I let the I let it cool down, so I stocked it up last night around. See, I got back from the airport around two, maybe three. So yesterday I was. Uh, my daughter went to Florida for. Um, she left last Saturday to go down and see her boyfriend, slash not boyfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is. He, he used to live up here and he moved to Florida to try to change his life around a little bit and she went down there for five days and she didn't get out she missed her plane she was sitting there in the gate but she was probably had her head in her smartphone instead of paying attention so they boarded the plane without her and she didn't get on she had to pay for another flight home um, at 8:30, so she spent the whole day at the at the uh, Fort Lauderdale Airport, sipping cool ones of whatever. <laughs> it kept her happy. Bar kept her happy. And uh, so I had to go to a different airport. She was flying into Albany, and um, so she flew into Connecticut, and it's. A little further away, it's all relative. Um, 
maybe a half hour longer, so two hours down to to uh, Hartford for uh, to pick her up. Go down there and hang out someplace, and then meet her at the terminal and scoff her up and head home. So I didn't get to bed till four in the morning. But it was actually uh, it was funny because it was it was 17 when I left the house. Uh, about 8.30 and then uh, when I got to Connecticut it was 30 degrees and of course it felt like a heat wave then I brought her up to her house it was 12 by the time I got back here it was 22 degrees and right now in the middle of the day Although there's a wind blowing, so that makes a big difference. Um, so I'll leave this thing going until the thermometer up here. Zoom in on it. Until that gets up close to the yellow. And then I'll know that it's burning. And then I will uh, take it back. And so if you remember from my earlier videos, this stove came with the house. It wasn't in this location. It was back in the weeds room on that foolish chimney back there. Uh, so we added a uh, uh, Selkirk double wall stainless steel um, chimney on the outside of the house. It goes in there. It's got the heat shield behind there and a heat shield under it. And it's up on 8 inch blocks onto another the original pad. Um, I had to put this in here because the building inspector told me to. He wanted to be able to catch any sparks that fall off in the front of the stove. But I put it up on 8 inch blocks so that it's higher for me to work because it's too low to the ground. Um, this actually comes from Australia. Um, called a tile stove because it has these tiles uh, the ones on the other side are missing that's why I have this piece of uh, concrete board between me and my desk and uh, you know it works quite well it actually looked I was gonna throw it away and I had it on Craigslist and then I took it off Craigslist and cleaned it up you know it I mean it's not it's missing the top grill tiles on the other side but it, it works for a free wood stove it works so really all that matters some people say I should go to a pellet stove but you know I don't know I mean this works these blocks work they're a bit of a nuisance I could buy it by the pallet but then I've got to haul in a pallet um, so let's buy it by the pallet and there are other brands out there other than the BioBlocks that work. They're all kind of the same thing. It's just these bricks. It's nice that this is a local company in theory. It's just the next state over. So it's, uh, you know, you're supporting the local economy, so to speak. So, well, that's about it. Ta-ta.